Hi, I'm Robin Driscoll but with Opus One Gouger, and I'm also one of the Oboe Doctors along with Dana Sunday. And today I'm going to talk about the Blade Exposure Dial Indicator, which I developed here at Opus One, which helps you measure how much blade is exposed over the front guide on your gouger. And this will help you determine what's causing ripping or if it's rubbing, you can tell exactly how much blade is exposed. And I try to shoot for a measurement of about zero or 0 0.05 millimeters over the front guide. So that if the guide is zero, the blade is going to be 0 0.05 millimeters more exposed. To, and that'll give you the cutting edge. If it's more than that, it could, it could rip. And if it's less than that, uh, it could rub. So I try to shoot for 0 0.05. And the way to install this on the machine is pretty simple. You'll notice on here, there's a plunger. Okay. Then there's two landings back here, each with two little bumps on it. And there's a space between them. And there's a top surface with one bump on it. Now these bumps are registration points that's going to be touching the, the gouger uh, carriage. So what happens is the guide goes in between these two bottom troughs inside here and rests on these two flat surfaces here and here on either side of the carriage or the either side of the, of the guide. And then the top surface touches up here and then it sort of pinches there and that's how you register this device on the gouger. And that does like this. I'll take the plunger and I will push it down with the front guide and then I will slide the unit in there so the guide is now going in between those two troughs that you saw. And then I will tighten the carriage and I just did this a second ago but it was zero and that shows you how accurate this is. It can repeat so easily. Now what I'll do is now I want to move this back over there. I have, I, I've zeroed the plunger on the carriage or on the guide. So now I'm going to go back and touch the blade with the, um, with the dial indicator and we're going to measure how high that is. So I'll loosen this slightly. Now before I move the plunger over the blade, I always pull it down manually with my hand here. And I don't want the plunger to hit the blade because that could damage it. So once it's pulled down, I'll slide it forward and then I'll raise the plunger back up and gently rest it back on the blade. And then I will tighten this and I'll look at my reading and I see I'm about 0 0.055 on here. And so I like 0 0.05. So what I'll do, since I'm a little bit more exposed than I should be, I'll take my little Allen wrench and I will turn it to back the blade up a little bit. Okay, and now it's reading 0 0.05 exactly. And I like to take the pressure off so this way it keeps it from shifting over time if there's residual pressure on the, on the, uh, on the screw. So I'll loosen it there so it's not pulling back anymore. So now, you notice I didn't need to, to loosen the screw. Now, if you're super, super tight, it might be difficult to move it back, but the pressure of this screw against the blade is not as strong as a threaded screw pushing or pulling. And so even though the blade is, is tight in the machine, it can still be moved by the blade push screw. Okay, so now we have to remove the device from, from the gouger. So to do this, I will loosen this ever so slightly. I will pull the plunger again and then pull it out. And once I'm beyond the blade, I can release the plunger, but it's just around the vicinity of the blade. You want to keep that pulled back. And then we're all set. And then you're ready to go. And so you can, you can control your blade exposure that way. Now with the Gilbert machine, there are other machines like the Gilbert as well that don't have the landing on the outside surface. You see the, the guide has a, has a landing here, but here it's flush. And so you could use this type of indicator, but it's not quite as, as reliable since it's, it's looking for a landing here. So I developed another one, another bottom mount, which has a wall here 
which rests against this surface and helps to register it in a very accurate fashion. But to use this on the Gilbert, the first thing you have to do is you have to take off the ball because there's no room up here for things to, to, to fit when that ball is on there. So just take a Phillips head screwdriver and spin it off. There's nothing precision about this. This is something you could do easily. So once it's off, I take the screw out as well. And now I have access to the top surface of this carriage and I can apply this particular blade exposure dial indicator. <clears throat> and this goes on exactly the same way. I'm gonna go first on here, touch the plunger with it to depress the dial indicator. And then I will push it forward and I will press against this surface to register it against the flat wall that's inside there. So once it's there, I will tighten this back up here. And I was using it before with this and see I'm still on zero. So it's showing you how accurate that is. So now again, the same way to measure the blade, once that is set to zero, I will loosen it slightly, pull the plunger down by hand, slide it forward until it's the blade is over the plunger and then release it with my hand gradually against the blade, still pressing here. I then tighten that. Let's make sure we're flat against there. And then you'll see here, in this case, I'm slightly under the measurement. So what I'll do is take my Allen wrench, this is a different size Allen wrench. And I'm gonna pull the blade back, push it back down because I'm too little exposed. You see it's under 0 0.05. So I'll put my Allen wrench inside here and I want to advance it so that I'm gonna be pushing the blade further down. And notice as I turn that, the blade goes down to the zero 0.5 millimeter measurement. Okay, and here again, I didn't need to loosen the screw. Sometimes if if it's really tight, if this because this mechanism, when you pull this back, it could cause the back end of this to lift. So you may want to loosen that just a little bit. Um, and then, but have it moving with it being snug, but not super tight and then get the adjustment set. And then when you finish, go ahead and cinch it down tight again. But you wanna make it set so it's 0 0.05 millimeters exposure. So again, when you remove this, loosen it a little bit, take your hand, pull the plunger down, push it forward. And once we are off the carriage, then we're safe. So, and then when you finish, take your screw back through here and spin the ball back on. and then snug it down with your screwdriver and you're in business. And that is pretty much how you use the blade exposure dial indicator. If you have any questions, please let me know on the website and please look for more videos in the future for new tools and concepts with gouging from Opus One Gouger. And also check our channel, our channel over at the Obu Doctors along that I work with with Data Sundet. We have content there for younger oboe players who have questions about anything to do with pedagogy or making reads and that kind of thing. And um, I hope you find that interesting. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.